What makes a good vivarium substrate? Well, there's plenty to consider. Does this substrate drain properly? Does it contain beneficial microorganisms that help break down waste? Will the composition of your mix make plants grow and thrive? Okay, so let's get started here. First thing you're gonna need is a base. I like to use Zilla Jungle Mix, which contains sphagnum moss, fur shavings, and other soft materials. I then like to add a little bit of peat moss to help lower the overall pH of the soil, as this is something many plants tend to love and appreciate. I'd like to add a bit of sphagnum moss or forest moss as a moisture retaining ingredient. Lastly, I like to add a little bit of sand, and the reason for this is to provide a bit of drainage to the soil. Okay cool, now we got all our ingredients set up, but we're still missing something. And that is the janitorial crew. These small organisms are dwarf white isopods. Once added to your substrate, they are super effective at eliminating waste, breaking down organic debris, and proliferating everywhere to do a sweet job all around. Last but not least are tropical white springtails. These fascinating small organisms are extremely efficient at consuming mold and other fungi. Alrighty then, let's get this road on the show. When handling soils and mosses, it's always a good idea to wear gloves for hygiene. Alright, well yeah, so the next part's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna mix up... What? So you're probably thinking, wait a second, did that guy just drop all those isopods in there like Godzilla walking through a city? Rest assured that although these guys are going to be tossed like a salad, they're completely fine and you'll see at the end of the video they're unharmed. Oh yeah, we're totally fine. So really all we're doing now is just adding all the ingredients together and mixing them. So we got the sand here, mixing with the peat moss and the isopods. They're having a bit of a roller coaster ride, but they're going to be fine like I said. Now we take some of our moss, throw it in, and really try to tear it apart and mix it in evenly. Same thing goes with the springtails, they're just there to join the party. And voila! Look at your earthy Mona Lisa. Mm, your critters and plants will be so, so proud. By the way, I hope you noticed that as you can see, no isopods were harmed in the making of this soil. And there you go, there you have it, it's that easy. Now if we go ahead and pretend that this is the bottom of your enclosure, what you would want to do next is actually get some leaf litter and toss it on top of the surface. This will provide hiding places for your isopods and springtails while also feeding the isopods. You would then want to spray them down and keep things moist. Pretty simple, isn't it? So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you know how to make your own substrate. All you really need to do is add some bark or soil to add further aeration to the substrate. A bit of charcoal if you like. But the fundamentals for the soil are there. Stay tuned for more videos coming up. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.